welcome to Epic Normal Defiler of the Just. This is coming about a week after the first patch where they made some changes to the raid. And I wanted to do a video, um, another video too, because that first one we posted was just capturing our first guild completion. We didn't know what we were doing, and that was kind of ridiculous. But uh, it was lots of fun to capture that moment. So uh, the biggest change that they made to the raid, go ahead and step in folks, is that the executioners spawn where the archons fall. And you can tell where the archons fall because of the beam of light that, ra that rises all the way into the sky. So you can see it from lots of different places in the zone. And they spawn where the archons fall and they are leashed to the archons so they can't be pulled into the portal rooms anymore. They white dot right out and they go back and then they heal up. So you have to go to where they are. Well, most of them spawn in the corners, so what we're going to be doing is just having three-person teams in each corner, three people per corner. And then if any uh, Abishai executioners happen to spawn in the center, then the appropriate corner team will go to the center and fight them there. I'll explain a little more once we get to that point. All right, teams are the same. Get some buffs. Well, thanks for trying to dance me on video. It's thoughtful of you. We're missing Syax. This is also going to be the last video where you ever see my Sork Voodoo as a Sork because I'm about to TR her into a Warlock. So this is kind of a send-off raid for her. And I'm going to stay Drow, uh, even though I'm doing like an Enlightened Spirit tank thing and that's not an optimal choice. I just, Voodoo's always been a Drow. She was my second tune. She's been a Drow for six years and uh, it just doesn't feel right to play her as anything else. Earth to Syax. We can go ahead and uh, go to the door. Had a little lag right last run. We had to reset. Lag still continues to plague this raid. It seems to have got have gotten better since they made the changes, but it's still a serious problem. We have to wait right here. Maybe it's not aggro from a straight girlfriend. How long does it take to go to the McDonald's drive through from his house, do you think? I was going like two blocks. And still uses his car. Good job, Eld. Now everybody on YouTube is going to see that and go, I don't want that guy healing my raid. I mean, when the cleric can't keep himself healed, that's a problem. I'm not being judgy, but, I'm just but saying. Not being but knowing is half the battle. So for those of you watching the video, here's an example of what not to do. Now they know they don't want that guy healing their raid. I'm just busting my guild these balls. Bill Tarion is actually an awesome player. Right away. We're all, so waiting you, We're all waiting for you, Syax. We're all waiting for you, Syax. Well, at least you know your place. Say hello to your imaginary girlfriend for us. So there's a safe lane right here, the blades go on each side, but here about you know, a couple body lengths away from the gate, you just pile on each other and fight everything here, you won't get hit by the blades. Oh boy, here it comes again.
At least it passes at this point. Still running. I don't think legs at this point. But at least it passes at this point. Hopefully. It's your recording program. When we kill this no, first wave, I, when we kill this first wave, everybody just stand here. Nobody pull the ones that spawn behind or anything. Everybody just stand here until this shit goes away this time. I think that, doesn't the timer start as soon as the gate falls? Yeah, the gate don't fall if we don't kill everything. You know, somebody always has to go pull the guys that stayed behind the wall there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right now, everybody just stays here for a minute. Maybe this will go away. Yeah, we gotta keep moving. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, the game went down. <laughs> awesome. You still can't move. Assume your positions, run through your portal rooms on the way, and kill any reinforcements that are there. They're in the north. Post job again. The idea here is that we got three people at each corner. We're going to hang out at the bottom of the ramp here because you can pull the, the Abishai up to the bottom of the ramp. You can even pull them up here, but um, if you try to pull them into the room, they'll white dot out. We're missing somebody northeast. Stash, you're supposed to be northeast. And so usually they're going to spawn like right here. Uh, or if we see them out there, we'll have to fight them out there. Um, but if we. He's if, in southwest. Alright, I'll take Stash to spawn northeast. Good job, Ginger. Oh, did I mess up? Yes. Like always. Well, why are you, why are you telling me now? Why? And you were signing. Situation is normal. Yeah, South team middle. So if you, um, you know, if, when Abishai spawn, if they're not in your corner, yeah, the idea uh, is, that, is that you go to the other corner. I never pay attention, guys. You know that. The reinforcements can be pulled out of the room, so sometimes it'll make more sense to like grab them on the way to the other side if they're Abishai on your other corner. But the north teams will always stay north, and the south teams will always stay south. Well, obviously, you're supposed to be covering two positions, so I hope you have haste. Wow, that was some lag there. Where's the reinforcement? Are they? It looks like they might have been in the center, and we missed them. Yep. Okay, there's an executioner rebounding that's coming from the middle. Ready to the middle. Pods, so it doesn't matter. Reinforcements north, fight them at the portal.
tonight's another momentous occasion. The idea is if you see nothing in your corner, you're moving to the opposite corner immediately. Yep. When you see the side thing, Archon drop, or the Archon falls. But make sure you're looking in the center too, because if you see him in the center, then your corner needs to go to the center. Tonight, my guildy Ani here, aka Crummy, aka Aki, has broken radio silence for the first time in three years. He's spoken on mic tonight for the first time in three years. I don't know why he has decided that tonight he will break radio silence, but it's pretty cool. Okay, nothing has moved. He used to talk on mic all the time, but we used to constantly tell him that he was too mumbly and okay, turned his sound up. And I think he just got tired of it. Northeast. Northeast is clear. Reinforcements are south. Voodoo here is just a cookie cutter. Um, Shirati proc monster, just 18 levels of Sork and and two levels of Favorite Soul. I know that these days that people are putting Pally in there too, but I, this tune has basically been shelved for about three years. Um, once the Shirati build became popular, I played her for a couple months, uh, and that was fun. But then I just got tired of slinging magic missiles and and just really haven't played her seriously since. So I'm really looking forward to TRing her as a warlock. And to start playing her seriously again. So we're going to here in the south, guys. In the middle part room. Northwest. Oh. My bad. That was a slow one. Execution's in the middle. Northeast. And if you're new to this Being raid, south. don't confuse the Abishai soul leaders with the Abishai executioners. It's the executioners that are the priority to kill. They're the ones that, you know, if you don't kill them in time, and it's, the timer here runs out, then you lose an Archon, and if you lose five Archons, you auto-fail the raid. The other failure mode, if you're new, is that if you get 15 reinforcements in the zone, you, you auto also auto-fail and get chucked out of the raid. I still raid. I still been raiding with Voodoo, so she has some some decent gear. But that's about all I've done with her for the past few years. South Northeast. Left. Southeast. Sorry. Northeast clear. Reinforcements must be south. You got these blades flying all around on the floor, which is why you want to make sure you're bringing. You're not fighting stuff on the floor. You know you can bring the Abishai here to the ramp, and uh, if you have to fight him in the center, you want to fight him like at the bottoms of the ramp out there. Northeast. 
northeast too. Looks like Middle East has Archons, or Executioners as well. You can fight them on the bottom of the ramp, even when they're in the middle. Safer place. Ten reinforcements. Make sure the north south teams are where they're supposed to be. Don't usually leave the north south zone, but in this particular case, a bunch of reinforcements spawned when we had Abishai in the center, so it pulled reinforcements to the center. Not usually what we do, but sometimes you gotta roll with what you got. Two in the northeast. The southwest is clear. To the southeast. You can see the Archon flew away as soon as the two executioners tied to her were killed. Drag him down to the uh, southeast, man. Not good. Should be hitting anything. I'm still. Okay, everybody's got a zone they're supposed to be covering, doing it this way, and uh, when everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing, it, it seems to work a little bit That's smoother nice. for at least for us. It has been. Oh, uh, reinforcements in the south. Oh, these are actually the big ones. Never mind. I think the ex this executioner came over from the center. He might white dot out. Don't pull him any further up the ramp. Yeah, bring him down. We're lagging, aren't we? Yep. Oh my god, he was oh, almost god. dead. <laughs> That was ridiculous. Is this the final wave? No, but it's one before the final wave. For every Archon that's defeated, you can see we have two now, they appear as an evil Irenes that, that uh, are fighting against you in the end fight, but you know, we haven't done anything above Epic Normal and we won't, and at least as a guild, we won't until this lag clears up. And uh, at least on Epic Normal, those Irenes, they don't really do much of anything, they just sort of fly around and shoot an arrow at you once in a while, so we just ignore them.
on a wave north. So it's in north. Moss lag. So I've read about some different strategies and higher difficulties with just distracting the worm, but here on Epic Normal, we always just kill the worm real quick and we can take her down take on the worm before the boss activates. And that way it's one less thing to deal with while you're fighting the boss. The boss also has um, a hellacious AoE attack if she's alive for more than about 30 seconds, but on, on normal, she's easy to kill in that time. Let's do it. Yeah. Nice work. Now to lag some sides, maybe we can get some loot. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the video, you can respond on YouTube. And if you happen to be on Sarlona, you're welcome to send me a tell. Ooh, ultimatum, nice. And Fellblade. We've been getting about one to two items per run on normal runs, so. Not sure if there's much incentive to run it on higher difficulties right now. I guess maybe to try to get the higher, oh, the higher mythic ones. But we've seen them drop on normal even.